So the more we can keep it uh, local, the better, the better turnaround times we have, the better control over quality we have. Today's call between the state's Department of Health and Human Services and long-term care facilities, featuring a lot of information about the move from commercial out-of-state lab surveillance COVID-19 testing to in-state testing. And I think this is one of those cases where we said, you know, uh, we were able to stand up MAKO fairly simply. Um, it was okay. And now we have to move and pivot and go in a different direction that's going to give us even, even better results. The state will now partner with Dartmouth-Hitchcock and says they can get results in 48 hours or less for nursing homes and other facilities with potentially high numbers of positive cases. The move is getting a good response. I know with the uh, explosion in Sunbelt cases, et cetera, that probably some of those southern testing labs are pretty overwhelmed right now. So thank you uh, for, for this change. Another popular topic on the call, starting a dialogue to find a safe way to allow some visitation inside the facilities. Commissioner Shibonette says while the state is not ready to allow that right now, she wants ideas so they're ready to implement the guidance when they reach that step. I've worked with a, a lot of you for a very long time, and I know that you probably have sat and said, you know, I know how I can do this. And in that's some of the stuff that I want to hear because I think it's really important that we start having those conversations. And one of the ideas that Commissioner Shib Shibonette floated during that call would be that each resident has one person that's appointed that's allowed to come into the facility and they could be a part of surveillance testing. Reporting live, Jessica Moran, WMUR News 9.